The Give the Nations project is set to provide scholarships and food aid to individuals in an effort to empower communities. The director of the project, Precious Jefferson, announced that the plans at a press conference in Lagos. Jefferson explained that the organization aims to help young people through grants and skills training programs. She stated that over 5,000 youths have already been empowered through the group's structured grant system, which closely monitors and manages the receptors the recipient's businesses to ensure the programs are effective. Additionally, the organization has created an Oasis water project to provide clean, safe drinking water to communities around the world. Meanwhile, Michael Falokun, a coordinator of the Global Day of Salvation event, corroborated these details as he discussed the purpose of the upcoming global event, which will take place simultaneously in various locations, including the Onikon area of Lagos. I mean, the feedback has been amazing. We have grants and scholarship, you know, programs as well that would be, you know, given to um, people and communities through the Day of Sufficiency program. Now, we have, in fact, we have um, empowered young people, over 1,000 young people and students as well through our scholarship um, programs. And River State, for instance, we empowered over a thousand people in skills acquisitions where they had the opportunity, you know, to learn pastry. Um, and that is, you know, something that we are trying to do to build our economy, to give our youth a development and growth for the success of our community. Absolutely. We're open to partnering with the government as well, you know, to bring back you know, our nations to help economic growth, to help economic development. We're open not just to, you know, um, private sectors, but even to public sectors as well. And they understand the fact that for them to reach the communities that they would like to reach, um, it will take a lot of logistics, um, a lot of structure that will be put in place. But because of the, um, the event of the Day of Salvation, which is a global event, like I mentioned earlier, um, we're in Pakistan, we're in Rwanda, we're in Angola, we're in Egypt, we're in India, uh, and we have a gathering of faithfuls. Um, people are being saved. And as such, GTN is looking to leverage on that um, to be able to reach a wider, wider audience for their philanthropy. And they approached um, the Day of Salvation team, um, stating that um, this is what they're about, this is what they do, and the fact that um, the church, as you know, is um, a place where people um, come to for soccer. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.